Hey everybody, I'm here today doing a review on the Max MMA adjustable freestanding reflex bag. Uh, they sent me this product, it's a really really good product, I definitely recommend it especially for all the beginners out there, but even if you're advanced, like I know I know a lot more of uh, as far as boxing and whatnot as you guys can tell from my videos, but um, it's still good for somebody like me also because it's just, uh, it's very good to train with. Um, the one thing that this is very similar to, if you guys have ever seen a double end bag, which is like the two strings attached to the wall. Right, this is very similar to that. The only thing is that it doesn't uh, reflect back as quick. So it's really easy to put together. Uh, you guys can see there's actually just the ball unscrews here, it adjusts here. This is the part where it adjusts, it adjusts down here as well. And the base, you can fill with water or sand. We have it filled with water. Um, and I believe that the base fills up to like 30 pounds or more, a little more than 30 pounds probably, but. Um, it's good, but for someone like like what like me, like you can see right here. If I'm gonna throw a hook, it kind of like pops up a little bit. So what I would recommend is putting a weight. So like all of the weights, you would need a a weight like a weight plate from like an Olympic bar set because the center circle is a lot thicker. And you could just put it, unscrew the ball. You just put it through and lay it right on top. So you can put like an extra 25 pound plate on top of this, an extra 35 pound plate, and that'll help from the swinging, you know, from the, from it popping up with me hitting a little too hard, all right? Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Um, you, it's, you know, it's good for anybody if you're a boxer or MMA, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can do a lot of good things with this, and I'm just gonna show a few things that you can do. Um, me, personally, I like it because it's good for building the reflex, it's a reflex bag, right? So it's good for building reflex, it's good for building timing and coordination, but you can play around with it. So if you don't know what you're doing with this, it's definitely gonna be like a boring product. But if you get a little creative, you can do a lot of things with it. Okay, so just a simple thing to show you guys what it works, how it works. You know, I'm gonna stand here in my stance, right? Get my rhythm. I can just jab, work some jabs. The one thing I noticed you can't do, you know, with a reflex bag is like I can't do like a quick one-two. Whereas with a double end bag, I could because it reflects back a lot quicker. I can't do a one-two. You see, the timing is a lot off, so I would have to do like jab, cross. So it's, it's fine, okay, again, again, that's why I think it's really good for beginners because you can really practice on perfecting each punch separately, which is really good, but even if you're advanced, I can step in with the bag. So like if I'm out here, hitting the bag, there's gonna be, it's gonna come back to me a lot slower, but if I start stepping in, you see I got a lot quicker. So as I get closer to the bag, it gets, it does get quicker and the reflexes are gonna, you know, change. Now, because of that, it, uh, because it's so small, I can move around the bag too, and that's really how we're gonna get our coordination and timing down. Because I can jab, practice my jabbing. So I can move around the bag, and you see every now and then when I move, I hit it like with the side of my hand instead of correct, and it moves one way, so I have to move really quick to hit, right? So that's a good way that you're gonna get a lot of reflex and coordination in, plus it's gonna give you a little more workout because if I start hitting and occasionally it moves weird, you know, I gotta, I gotta move. You see it lifted up right there because I don't have the weight. So again, if you hit hard, you definitely need to put the weight on because I have it filled up to the top with water and it's still gonna move. So you can do a lot of other things with this. Um, you saw how I was moving just now, now you can also work defense, okay? So the video where I showed you guys how to do the sit, I can work that with this without a partner, right? So I can... Then I have to hit it to make sure it comes back at me. So you saw how like, I hit it and it moves a little weird, so I practice the sit and then when it starts messing up, that's when I move and adjust. So again, I'm here. I wait until it comes at me to sit, so that's a good way to practice that because I'm moving around and occasionally I'm just gonna throw it in. If it moves weird, I gotta fix myself, punch, and adjust, which is gonna be a lot similar to boxing, like an actual fight. So another thing you can do is you don't have to just throw punches, right? I don't have to just throw straight punches. I can throw the hook. If I want to, I can throw uppercuts. I can throw elbows too, right? So we can mix it all up. It doesn't have to be uh, just punches, right? I can do anything.
and then we move. Now, you can do a lot of other things with it. Uh, you could even like kick it if you want, but it's really not gonna do anything for your kicking. It's better, you're better off just using your hands and your elbows for this. Uh, but you can also practice diving if you want. So like, instead of practicing the block, I can slip. The only thing is, it's gonna hit me because it's coming at me like this. If it was a double end bag, it stays level and it just swings, so it's easier to slip. And because it's a string, it's not gonna like come at me like this. So um, you can still practice it though. You, it's not like you can't. I can jab, slip, and it just hits my shoulder. That's fine. But it still simulates like what would actually happen in a fight. Because occasionally in a fight, I'll slip, and instead of getting hit in the face, I get hit here. So you know what I mean? It's still giving you a good effect, and it's still giving you a really good workout. And you can still work a lot of things with it. You can. You don't have to necessarily always do this. I can punch and work on blocking with my forearms. Right? I can add in all that stuff. I can block and try to come back right away, which is a really good reflex to try to have. From here, here, block, right? I'm working all of that. As soon as I block, I want to come back. So you can do so much with this. It helps build the speed. Again, coordination, reflex is a really awesome product. It's great for beginners. And because it's adjustable, it's really good way for kids to have fun as they're boxing, right? So since I do like boxing, like what you saw my other client, Jaden, the little kid boxer. So I'm gonna have him using this for sure, now that they sent me this, because it's such a good way for him to just be active, move around, learn to move around as he's punching, and punch correctly, and it's fun. You know, it definitely is. Like, as you saw, I did so much stuff with it now, instead of just standing here doing this, which is really boring. Let's move, let's get creative with it. So I'll put up some video for you guys like drills that you can do with this exercises that you can do with this so you guys can practice it so if you you know definitely I would recommend you guys getting this product it's a really good one um, we'll have the link in the description box it's really affordable so it's a really good piece of equipment to have if you go to anywhere else to get something similar to this it's gonna cost you a lot more than it will from getting it from Axe MMA so it's a good product I definitely recommend it and I'll put up videos for you guys thanks for watching